Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. This is Otaku Showboat. Today is Thursday, June 27th, 2019. Ah. And today is more of the Pyanodon's playthrough. So, this is the first day of Pyanodon's that is after the official start of the Steam Summer Sale 2019. Uh, the last time I streamed was the day that it started, which it started after my stream ended. So, let's have a very brief discussion about the Steam Summer Sale. Uh, suffice it to say, as I said in yesterday's stream for the Angels playthrough, I am not particularly impressed by the current Steam Summer Sale. Partly because I already own, like, the vast majority of the best sales uh games so the games that have the best sales i tend to already own and it's been like this for several years basically ever since they got rid of the whole flash sale thing uh the sale in general quality has gone way down and uh yeah so it's it's difficult finding games that I want to play soon at a discount that is worth the immediate purchase. Um, my philosophy is if you're not going to play a game anytime soon, even if it's on sale, always ask yourself if you plan on playing it before the opportunity for a deeper discount happens. Um, which is usually the case on PC games. And is even more the case with uh, certain console games. Like, have you seen the price of Red Dead Redemption 2 and uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 lately? Neither of which I have actually played, but on PS4... They're under $40 right now um, to buy those games that were full price 60 at launch. So why pay 60 these days? Uh, but I have bought one game from the Steam Summer Sale thus far, and that was Toho Luna Nights. It was 25% off, which is not the best uh, of discounts, but... I don't know, I've been interested in playing it, so I'll probably be playing it today. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, I'm also looking at Celeste, uh, which is 40% off at $11.99, and I am looking at Tales of Vesperia at half off, which is a really big discount for a game that just released in January. Um, and Wargroove is 33% off. Uh, so th those are the other three that are at least decent enough discount to make it somewhat worth it. But again, do I see myself actually playing Tales of Vesperia within the next six months? Probably not. Same with Wargroove. Celeste, I don't know. Maybe? Maybe? So if anything, I might pick up Celeste, but outside of that, uh, let's see, uh, there was an update to, getting actually into the game now, there was actually an update to, uh, Pi Coal, I think it was Pi Coal, uh, yes, there was an update to Pi Coal that says, adaptation for Pi Coal, touched by an anvil, but uh, the last I checked, the uh, pie coal touched by an angel slash anvil uh, was undergoing a complete rewrite by the current person in charge of developing it, uh, the person currently developing it, 
Um, and I don't think that that has had an update to it quite yet with the rewrite in place, which, for the record, I don't think right now it is compatible with Omnimatter. Even though it says it adds compatibility for Omnimatter, I think that's currently broken, but I'm uncertain. There's also, like, if you try using uh, PyCol Touched by an Angel right now, there was a recipe issue with circuits, uh, being able to handcraft, uh, basically the way, the way that it works is that it makes the, uh, equivalent of the, uh, basic circuit boards, the, like, wooden level of circuits, the very first, very first circuits from Bob's that you can make, it replaces that with the Printed Circuit Substrate 1 from Pyanodons. And it used to replace the Pyanodons handcrafting recipe of Circuit 1s with the Printed Circuit Substrate 1s. But recently, for, for a very specific reason that I know because I've fixed it for my own copy of PyCol Touch Pine Angel, it, instead of having the Printed Circuit Substrate 1 handcrafting recipe it is the circuit one handcrafting recipe so you can't or at least couldn't make printed circuit substrate one by handcrafting it to make the items that are required to make printed circuit substrate one which uh basically means you're soft locked you can't actually progress through the game like that and the reason that it happens is actually because in the recipe code uh, for uh, PyCol Touched by an Angel, uh, there are two entries for the same recipe to handcraft, one of which is the one that gives you the printed circuit substrate, for, uh, and, and one is the one that gives you the circuit ones. So, And they're both assigned to the same recipe ID. Uh, which means that whichever one comes second is the one that's going to appear in the game because code is read from top to bottom. Um, and the one that's second happens to be the one that gives you the recipe for circuit one and not printed circuit substrate one, which is what you need because the mod replaces uh, that ingredient it, it replaces ingredients with printed circuit substrate 1 and not circuit 1 um, for the early items. So it's a relatively easy fix in that you have the option of either deleting the recipe to handcraft the circuit 1s, or you can just add like a, a single number or character to the recipe name on either one to give them a unique recipe name uh, and be able to handcraft both of them. So that's that's my little spiel on PyCol Touched by an Angel, which is here. If you don't know what this does, it's supposed to be a compatibility patch to run Pyanodons with Bob's and Angels uh, and Bio Industries and the Mad Clowns extension to Angels, uh, as well as some Deadlocks stuff, uh, Cow Extended, and Omnimatter, and a apparently Space Extension. Uh, space Mod is Space Extension, if I'm not mistaken. Where is it? Space Extension. Pretty sure this one's the one, but anyway. So, yeah, that's uh, currently not working as intended. Also, I will note, if you do run a ridiculous setup like this, without Omnimatter, because that just adds... That just really slows down the game. But if, you, if you're running Bob's Angel's Pie, even with Clowns Extended, 
and AAI, like, if you, if you run all of that together, th it actually makes things easier. Because AAI gives you a very easy way to get to glass, uh, as does, uh, just in general, angels. The glass recipe is easy. Um, plus, you have the option of using quartz. It's like... Yeah, you get a whole bunch of ways to get very efficient glass, and then the whole angel's processing of plates is significantly better than the entire uh, sequence of chains in the early game for pyanodons. So, uh, angels gives you a lot more efficient plates. You can get plates through different ways that are easier. Uh, by combining these mods, uh, and it, it, yeah, it's just overall an easier experience, even though it may seem like it's more complex, but, uh, yeah, it, it gives you so many more options that it's like, eh, and there's so many, there's shortcuts you can take that just makes things, uh, quite a bit easier. So, now that's been 12 minutes since the start of the stream. Uh, what did we leave off on? We left off with Cumene here, and all I have left is I have to improve my ceramic production and my phosphoric acid production. I think that's what I uh, am currently doing. I am... Of course, as per the title of the stream today, working towards Nylon, and we are actually very close to having Nylon. Very close to having Nylon at this point in time. I'm just going to uh, give myself a little bit more room to work here. So, uh, nylon, also, um, I have all this stuff, uh, as soon as I hook all this stuff up, uh, all four of these will be done, and I, it would just be phenol from cumin, and then it's nylon. Nylon needs four mixers of nylon production. Why do I only carry three? Well, I'm only carrying three mixers. I should have four mixers, but anyway. Nylon. Through this recipe. Uh, targeting four. Uh, I'm going to need to improve my CO2 production and get that piped in. I am making cumin for phenol. So I'm making cumin for phenol. I have two per second on blood meal. I have to belt the chromium up. And I have to produce uh, the requisite amount of steam. Which I'm actually producing some steam right down here. So that would be easy enough to just expand that a little bit. And uh, pipe it up to wherever I have this. Uh, so phenol from cumin is... Destructive distillation columns. So, do I have these? I may as well at least place these buildings down. So, phenol from cumin. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this looks like... I can put these directly next to each other and be perfectly fine. Uh, that does work. Now this will produce acetone as well, uh, which I will be using for other things. Just as a bit of an FYI there. Uh, now, what is my... Alright, so I put these on the bottom as the cumin 
out. Um, do I want this cumin out on the bottom? Probably not, because that makes things a little bit more complicated. Uh, also, one thing I noticed when I loaded up the game a little bit ago, I did not hook water up to these, so these are currently not moving because they need water. So, oops. Oops. That was a mistake. Fortunately, it is easy enough to fix. Uh, let's do uh, that right there. Always build to scale. Uh, and the acetone, I will just output here for now. And until I need it, I will overflow burn it. Um, unfortunately, I need two of these. Because these burn at 60 per second, and I am making 66.67 per second. Uh, and these will produce a solid, uh, so I need to output the solid. Uh, and it produces five. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just use standard. Ooh, I'm out. All right, that'll be that. Um, yeah, so let's just get the inputs. Uh, this will need a ceramics in. This will need a lead plates in. I think I'm going to grab a car and go uh, f like, fix my stuff. I'm gonna go fix the, uh, wood and pick up more undergrounds and belts and all that and, uh, pipe. So... Let's see. Uh, I'm going to need to run that up somewhere. So what have I been reading lately? <laughs> now, that, now that we've gone through all of that, what have I been reading? Um, so I think last time I may have said something about having finished uh, Skeleton Knight in Another World, Volume 1, and that Volume 2 wasn't coming for a while, maybe. I don't remember if I said or talked about Volume 2 releasing. Uh, as it turns out, in my... Uh, wish list. I have an Amazon wish list that go that is my planned purchases. So the books that I absolutely 100% am planning on buying when they release or pre-ordering. I go every month. I go, just go through the list of what's coming out that month, 
uh, and then put my orders in for them. That being said, uh, with Skeleton Knight Volume 2, as it turns out, I had somehow managed to uh, put the physical copy on my wish list rather than the digital copy. And I'm not interested in the physical copy because I have volume one as a digital copy. And if I've started a series in digital, I'm going to continue it in digital. And if I started a series as physical, it will continue as physical. So since it started as physical, I am going to Continue working with it as such, uh, or as, yeah, I started as digital, so I'll continue it with, uh, digital. Now, this is a little inconvenient for me. Um, just, I think I'll connect to this line. These are two individual separate lines. Alright, so that, that makes sure that all of my thingies here are operating. It's only consuming 80 per second on the CO2. Speaking of CO2, I will need more CO2. Uh, so how am I going to get more CO2? I'm just going to make sure that this wasn't changed, by the way. Uh, it is still... It is still one log to 50 organic matter. So that's fine. I'm going to do, uh, move this now. I will move this right now. Not like I really am in too much need of the ash. Uh, I'll do this like so. Filters, filters, wherefore art thou? Filters! Slightly inconvenient, but that is perfectly okay.
That's a, that's all fine, right? Pretty sure. Should be that. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Why no steam? Ah, that is why. Uh, ooh, okay. That is going to be how I have to do that. Alright, so that gets that moving again. That makes that. That is the stuff taken care of. That makes the flu gas. This eats the flu gas. And we are officially back in business without the need of any of this. Good. Now I can scale more. Scale is beautiful. Um, I need to pick up stuff. You there. Take those. Uh, and take... That. Don't need it. That stuff. Ugh. Really want... Really want a bigger inventory, but... Oh well. That, that, that stuff. Don't need it. Ironstone, copper, iron. Wait, what's with the uh, iron? Borax, why are you... Um... What? Oh... Syngas. Right... Uh, so as it turns out, I need more syngas. I need to make more syngas. Well, regardless, uh, let's see, stones. I should have a thingy couple thingies with stones. Now, two of these is 200 per second, right? It is 150. I guess another single setup of this will be okay.
I do want to make more wherever they are Blech. down here more of these slash the mark twos would be nice but ugh Organic matter into those doohickeys. Um, hope that's the correct spacing. There we go. That will do that for me. Uh, then it's... I need copper. I'll go ahead and just make the three nurseries. Uh, an extra three... You see, I need 200 spare. So I guess I'll only do two so that I have exactly enough spare. So that produces one per second on logs, uh, having two of these. 0.2 plus 0.75 is less than one, so that is just fine. That is just fine. Uh, and the wood I'm producing is probably still not sufficient to fully consistently fuel these or constantly fuel these but it's more than what I had before to fuel these so I guess that's all right I guess it's okay this one is running constantly at least need just that much little bit more wood per second but yeah Oh, and uh, it will slow down once the treated wood stuff gets going, so either way, I need to... I need a lot more scale on this, but no matter. I'll worry about that at a later time. I just want my stuff and things. Um, next. Next, I will run. Gosh, I, I know I'm going to need to run lead at some point as well. I'll run 
my bromium, I guess. Or the ceramic. I guess I'll run the ceramic next. From here, where's the, there they come. And let me get my bearings straight. Vehicle snap. Make sure that that is on. I do hope this lane is free. Now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't actually check. So that's ceramic. Ceramics go in here. Yes, yes. All the way across from... Here. Alright, so let's get this lined up. There's ceramics in. You need lead. You don't need anything. You uh, need... You produce water. You need tailings in. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Okay. Tailings. Consistent source of tailings. Alright. I'll take it from my borax. I'll take it from my borax. Uh, it will also need a spot on my fluid bus. I 
I do need to scale up my sim gas production too. Just wanted to have a look over here to see that I do have two lanes open here so I can start bussing tailings. Now I have a lot of coal gas so scaling up the sin gas shouldn't be much of an issue. I just have to find where I'm making it and make more of it. Uh, so this is my sin gas. You make tar. Interesting. Maybe I don't want to scale that much more. We shall see. This was apparently out here for some reason. Looks like water is here. I caught it just in time. Alright. But I didn't mute the mic in time. Oops. Uh, then I'm going to also need the uh, solid out. I do hope I have the coal gas production for this. I'm just concerned about balancing, but meh. Off we go to the races. What is using so much of the sin gas though? I don't really know. Um, there is a consumption of fluids. Where is
Is there a way of having this thing tell me what buildings are consuming? Well, according to this, I am now making more than what I am consuming. And what it looks like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't use that thing very often. But what I want to see is... that. But what I don't want to see is that these aren't moving because of lack of sin gas. Ugh. Oy. Oy, oy, oy. Maybe I do add yet more here. What's my... Whole gas looking like. A lot. In fact, so much that it is backed up. Let's see, it started a pie run a couple days ago. Al aluminium is the bane of your life trying to make green science. Yeah. Uh, aluminium and even getting to duralumin is a bit of a pain. I've got it being... I've got casting of duralumin. My aluminium casting is back here somewhere. Here, casting it out of pulp, but I think this is behind green science as well. Uh, the problem, I think, is just getting enough of it for purpose. Getting into green. Green needs duralumin for this. Yeah. And you're, you're basically bottlenecked by the... Aluminium plates to make the duralumin because of how inefficient the initial process is for turning the aluminium ore into plates. Uh, perhaps the best process for that early game is the uh, uh, hot air production, and yeah, the, essentially the only the only real way around it is to just build a lot. Just have to build a lot. Uh, even what I have now, which is significantly better than standard hot air straight from the raw ores. Uh, it's it's still like a lot of things. Still a lot of things to do. All this. Wait, you are. You are CO2 out. That's convenient. I should hook that up as well. Basically, every little source of CO2 that I have, I can uh, do beautiful things with. This is that point I'm approaching where it's like I should get every little byproduct thing all hooked up together on to my bus it's gonna take some time double the size of your base just for green science yeah yeah see my base didn't quite double to get to green but it did expand it a lot so my green my one little machine 
producing green science. Uh, let's see, it started... here. So, it starts, it starts here, and then extends to there. So, all of that, all of, all of that is green science. So, eh, compared to what I had before, stuff out here to that, not quite double, but I also had my circuit ones automated before I did green science, so so that's a thing as well that extended the size. Um, and I did certain things like uh, uh, powerhouses for consuming aromatics and some zin gas. Speaking of which, let's continue uh, with a couple gasifiers. Where am I? I'm nowhere near where I need to be. Yeah, and trust me, once it gets once you're past green science, it slowly but surely gets a bit faster when you transition to the more efficient processes. Uh, the issue, of course, being it's a lot of materials to transition into the more efficient processes, but those more efficient processes will give you a lot more materials to work with in the end. So it all speeds itself up. Like, right now, I am backed up on Duralumin because I have so much Duralumin. I have no idea if my coal gas can keep up with this. But, technically speaking, because these actually produce a little bit of tar, a little bit of tar, it... It helps offset, because I am using some tar to make coal gas, so it's helping to offset itself uh, by feeding it back in, which is neat and all. Biggest issue is the tailings right now, but that'll go away soon with tech. Well, I'm about to have that... Uh, Situation where I will begin using tailings, because tailings are going to be used in, let's see, which, which one was it, nylon itself, or the phenol, it's in my Where was it again? Propene? No. Benzene? I've already forgotten. Ah, right, it's this. It's this right here. So I will finally actually have a use for my tailings because I will be producing this coal water slurry fuel that I will be then using to turn into uh, some benzene and aromatics. I'll be using the benzene for cumene, uh, and then I will use the cumene for phenol, and I will use the phenol in nylon. And the nylon is used in uh, nylon parts and as nylon itself, and as Kevlar in the various items for Circuit 2. A uh, nice recipe interface looks more useful than the FNEI mod. Yeah, this is the mod. I think this one's older than FNEI, actually. This is what is it really used for, this, partic this particular 
mod. It's just control F search for what you want. And uh yeah, I, f I find this UI more user friendly uh overall than FNEI. I much I much prefer this. Plus you get a little icon here that shows you all the fluids, so if I want to look at carbon dioxide, I can just go straight to the fluid recipe as well without having to search for it if I really wanted to. Let's see, am I all hooked up yet? Not quite. Now I'm hooked up. Get this stuff going. That, as they say, is that. I'm also getting a whole bunch of ash out of this, which is also very nice. I have nine of these now, so that's uh, 210 per second on the sin gas. I just want to make sure that, okay, these are all now operating fully. Again, I don't know what happened with my production of sin or my consumption of sin gas something was really really using the sin gas and now I'm getting my borax flowing again which means that the iron will start flowing again excellent 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 now the great thing about this borax is that it is constantly being used I would think I would think that that would be the one thing that is in constant use so uh, are you using the pie mod that requires bolts and small parts yes I am or I, I am using the this playthrough is the entire pie suite uh, so Yes, I am using small parts. Um, bolts and small parts. This is my setup that I came up with to produce the small parts. I bust them, uh, and I have a lot of them. Uh, essentially, and this is to ratio as well, uh, so it's rods into bolts Let's see two per second here two per second to two per second uh, this takes two per second so it's one to one to one uh, this takes one per second on gears that's one per second of gears and it takes one on rods rods produce two so just stick that in the middle and there you go two machines producing small parts and you don't have to worry about the belt balancing so built like lane balancing so much because they just merge in there um that being said uh i'll have to worry about advanced small parts soon enough and that's going to be a mission all on its own That'll be what comes after uh, Circuit 2s. I'm trying to get to Circuit 2s without relying on robots at the moment. We shall see how well that happens. Uh, because, technically speaking, I could do the transition to robots, like, right now, or even before right now. Could have done it some time ago, but didn't. Now, I'm pretty sure that this line is clear. <laughs> Sorry for the derailing of my mission. Well, when the mission takes tens of hundreds of hours, uh, ultimately that doesn't really matter so much. So this is my tailings. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of locations to run pipes so that's that's basically what I'm 
going to be doing now is I'm just I'm just running pipe. Don't mind me. Uh, this is this is going to take a while. Ah, uh, boy. Let's not have this go this way like that. I just have to hunt down all of my sources of tailings at this point. Uh, I can officially break these. Uh, granted, I will also have to... Uh, stick an overflow valve somewhere and put these back down. Uh, so glad that I'm finally at the point where I have the medium electric poles. First play, the first playthrough was a long time ago. Huh, like a complete different suite now. Yeah, this is. This is technically my first playthrough of Planetons. My actual. Or at the very least, this is the furthest I've ever gotten currently. So, I think with this playthrough, literally everything past Circuit 1, uh, I haven't seen before. And I had only seen Circuit 1 on a uh, initial combined playthrough from uh, Pycole Touched by an Angel. Which, uh, yeah, I had a little bit of a chat about that mod at the start of the stream because uh yeah that mod's being completely rewritten from scratch at the moment and as far as i'm aware is in a somewhat broken state without fixing it yourself Which is a little bit sad. Alright, so I'm gonna run this pipe on my bus and uh, see how much, how many underground pipes I have left before picking up more and hunting down additional locations of tailings production so I can get it all piped up. Been needing to do this for a little while, but uh, yeah. And then I'll need a little bit of uh, luck because oh, there's there's the rest of those piped grounds. Let's get more. I have tailings being produced and voided. Um, way out here. So this is this is my uh, glass, my quartz processing. Not sure how it is now. Play when in high speed. Once you set up machine wall with bots, yeah, yeah, that that's just the nature of bots. Once you once you start using the robots and automating the production of the various machines in this mod it will of course pick up because the the machines are high material cost so it ends up being easier to do uh to do bot based malls for that so this is my glass production by the way. Uh, I'm not currently doing any science, so it's not being used right now, but the glass has tailings, so I need to run the tailings from the glass. Uh, this is the tin setup. I don't think tin has... No, it does have tailings too. Never mind. So I will need to also grab tailings from the tin. And, uh, I don't think there's any on that 
stone there. There should be tailings from the copper as well, maybe? Yes, from here. Tailings from here. So I need to run all of that to my main bus. Uh, and this does not produce tailings. Uh, in fact, what I should do is I should hook up... I should hook this up to the bus, the uh, sin gas here. Um, this is my coke production, by the way. It's scaled to be... It's like 3.2 yellow belts of production of coke. And then I have to look at you. I don't think you produce tailings, but you do end up producing some CO2. I might want to force production of CO2 by burning the excess on the lime. Because that's another good use for burners, is you can keep certain processes moving that you're using the byproducts of. Might want to do that here as well. But, I mean, here, this is a very valuable item. This is the grade 4 tin. I don't... I don't think I want to be burning grade 4 tin just to get a bit of tailings out of that. Uh, when I could be burning something like the... Uh, like the sand and pure sand. That is... That is the better one, I think, to do burning of. To force tailings. And here, this would require burning... Again, it would require burning this, or like straight up burning copper plates, which that's like not very nice either. Alright, so that's enough planning. Let's get, uh... I need to go further over for my pipe to ground. So, needless to say, I'm going to need a lot of pipe to ground. Probably just going to have to pick up all of it that I have currently. Should be somewhere down here, right here. Well, I still have a lot of coal gas to work with. Are you backing up on Syngas? That would be... Yes, you are starting to back up on Syngas. That is ideal. Excellent. Happy to see that. I also want to do a cursory glance around for... Anything... Producing tailings. I do have this producing some CO2 that I might want to hook up to the bus. Because I also need to hook up CO2 to the bus. Doesn't look like I have any thing here. Uh, I think this produces a little bit. I'll go ahead and hook that to the bus. I'm going to be scaling that up a little bit anyway, as I work my way towards Circuit 2's. And because I know that my bus has the, uh...
has the sinkholes at the end of it, I am fine uh, picking up any other sinkholes when I know I'm connecting straight to the bus. That's connected now. Have to scale this up too. How many did I need? This is used for being all. Or no, it's used for uh, cumin, sorry. Alright, this is just too many icons. Uh, cumin. Yeah, cumin from ceramics. Uh, do I have an FB reactor on me? I do. Cumin. Uh, I am targeting three of these. 1.88. Uh, so I will need to add like at least three. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, I have to do... So the way I prefer to do outputs now is like this. So that gives it an even output even though it's, uh... Ooh, hello. I did not realize I had a recipe that, uses, that used salt and produces more. That's very convenient. I might have to, uh, find and bust salt. Now, granted, I have salt right here that I could tap into for this very purpose, but my bus is growing and it would cover that at some point. Um, and I'm already sort of using all of my tapped salt for saline water, so I would have to go out here or over here for a source of bust salt. Yes, this map has a lot of salt. It has actually a lot of everything. Somehow. Somehow, I ended up with every single resource being in rather convenient locations. Not too far away. So, I don't have any trains right now. Everything's being done by belts. Even though probably some things could be done with trains, but... For me, I find the, these distances to not be too bad. Especially since I have a car. Uh, let's see. So, why do you have two... You do not need two... There we go, that should be just fine on my ceramics. 
and the ceramics are already on the bus all the way up. Okay, enough being sidetracked by the ceramics. I need to continue running my... tailings. Yes, salt. Lots and lots of salt. So very much salt on this map. Millions and millions and millions of units of salt. Very close by. I have lots of salt. I have lots of phosphorus, too. I even have sulfur. It's, it's pretty nice. Actually having everything that I might need. I even have... Uh small oil I have a patch of small oil right here right here so I can immediately go into oil and I already have I already have the derricks on these and they're all hooked up through pipes I can I can transition to oil whenever I want but I haven't yet the only things I'm using oil for right now is this singular rubber plant. And uh, because Pyanodon kept nagging about setting up a uh, oil burner, I set up an oil burner. Okay, let's see here. I need... Oh look, it's it's things. Uh, I need that roaded. Well, that was easy enough. There's my phosphoric acid in. That just leaves the benzene and the propene. The propene needs lead, so I need to run a line of lead, which I'm currently not efficiently producing, actually. So that's going to take a little time, setting up an actual lead production setup. Um, hook up the actual syngas now. Oh, come on, game. Come on, game, I know you're chugging, but... Actually, where is my syngas? Which, uh, which lane is that again? Currently not running it all the way up here, it looks like. Uh, wow, it's not even on my turn yet. Oh, Syngas, there you are. Oh, it is on the turn. Okay. It is right here, but then it stops. Okay, so it's this lane. This is the lane. And yes, that's how I run pipes, by the way, and belts to make sure that everything is aligned. Uh, I do it from the map view. And uh, just like hold down the mouse button to build and just scroll up until it gets within the build distance so that I have a marker for uh, where everything is. Now, the one thing I don't want to do is crash. Let's 
ride over a little bit. Jeez, how far down is this thing? Right there. Alright, so there's the sin gas, and while I'm out all this way, I'll go pick up some more belt to run what lead I currently have. I know that setting up proper lead is going to take up a whole stream in and of itself to do molten lead. So I'm probably not going to do that right now. Get a couple of those and those. Probably all of that. So my current lead isn't even fully automated. This is, this is my lead. Like, uh, oh, and I need uh, apparently another thingy. But, uh, yeah, so this is, this is the lead currently. Um, How am I going to do this? That is a good question. Of course. Well, first and foremost, I do not need this copper. I'm not doing anything with this right now. My copper is being made elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut it. So instead of breaking all of this down, uh, I can replace it with the lead recipe, pretty much. That, uh, I think that's the plan here. Pick up all of the, uh... Stuff. Uh, why are you... Make sure all these... Drop their stuff. Make sure that's not holding any copper. And then transition into... Lead from hot air. Now this is likely, like, quite overkill, but for the amount of lead that's going to be coming in. Unless I just start mining more, but I don't think I have the uh, acetylene to do a ton more. And that's that. So I was meaning to do something with that location that had that initial copper set up, but uh, yeah, it looks like the game decided to do stuff for me. I do hope I have enough acetylene production to feed at least this many. How many is this? 14. Eh. 
I'll worry about it when it becomes more of an issue. Ha! Huh, this is Factorio and nothing is overkill. That's right. But there is such a thing as having too... This might be too many for the specific process that I'm doing right now with the amount of inputs that I can currently put in to it. So this is 12 machines. That's enough for 96% of a yellow belt, which I'm not currently producing. And if I were to produce 96% of a yellow belt of lead ore, I don't think I'd be doing this process anyway to process that ore. I, I would do that when transitioning into the molten lead process and getting silver plates out of it. So in this specific circumstance, I don't think I need 12 of these here, but I don't have any other use for them right now, so there they shall stay. It's just of little value to have more than enough for what I'm currently producing from my mining drills. So I need to then run that lead out, which unfortunately I don't really have a spot for. Anywhere nearby, it's going to have to be run... Gosh. Uh, this is third lane, fourth lane, one, two... That. This is ceramics, so it would have to be this lane. I just want to uh, confirm that this is ceramics. So, that confirms that that's ceramics. This will be lead plates. So, that's in use. So, how am I getting this routed? up there. Um, and how am I going to make it look decent in the process? There we go. There's lead. Being run. Now I just have to complete the belt. Uh, car? Sometimes I think I should just keep the car damaged to make it easier to see with the with the green. I need to really remove that, but I'll use it for now. The, the source of the coal for that lane, that belt, is basically empty at this point. And what I'm using it for should actually be using 
coke instead. Because it's only being used as a fuel source, I think, for certain things. And the process I'm using to produce coke is more... It produces more energy out of it. Per unit coal, so it basically gives you more coke out per unit coal, and coke has higher fuel value per unit, so it's going to be better to use coke uh, anytime I need a fuel. So, lead plates are going in here. Now, let me see. I guess it doesn't really matter which... Part I have this going which side it's getting fed from. Now the lead is the second lane. Pretty sure this is aligned correctly. It's always the hardest part is uh, getting the alignment right. Wait. Oh, I guess I'm off. I'm off! Uh, and you need a fuel in. This will be, of course, coke. Now, is that all of the solids? inputs. By the way, you need 1.33 per second. I think I'm making a little bit more than that. Uh, I do hope so, at least. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. Well, anyway, there's the tailings in that I'm currently making. Anyway, that will be... That... Just waiting on the lead to arrive. Uh, that'll be the steam, enough steam too. Uh, ceramics are here. Alright, that just leaves the mixers. And I think I'm short a mixer. I think I missed some belt at the start of the lead lane. Nope. It's moving. It's a coming. I... I got this gap. I, fi I saw that gap and I already fixed it. Yep. So this is uh, not enough acetylene. That's what I thought. But 
I'm just hoping that this is producing more than 1.33 per second. Because then I have to actually go back and do more. Uh, mixer. Unless I put it, put the mixer down somewhere. Which I may have done. I don't know. Need to grab some of my titanium, which is right here. Uh, I need to bring up... I need more belt. Because I need to bring up my uh, chromium next. And this is not going to be enough belt. Because I'm pretty sure I can go straight into nylon now. And that's going to need the chromium. So, I have to head on back to the Star of the Bus anyway. Gosh, would it be nice if I could have the, uh, the Mark V power armor from Bob's for this. That would be nice. But, uh, with, with the, uh, like, 12 plus Mark III Exo skeletons, that would be, that would be great right about now. running at the speed of sound belt you there take that away oh hey I have a bunch of gas fires actually that I could have used for things stuff and things Oops. <laughs> so, this will be the nylon covered. But I've still got a fair ways to go on the journey for, uh, for my Circuit 2s. Because unfortunately, Circuit 2s take a ton of things. Okay. Mixers. rocks. Remind me not to use uh, alien biomes like ever again. It's pretty, but it adds way, way, way too many rocks.
just thinking about what would be easier for me. Uh, so, I need three solids in for these. Uh, question is, do I want to run a mixed belt? Do I want a mixed belt? I suppose. What am I going to use the, uh... Blood meal for besides this. No, I'm just using it for this. <laughs> I don't know what the heck these are for. Alright. For alien bacteria mark one. Oh. Okay, this is A really long chain to hit helium. And helium is used for super alloy. So it looks like it's a really long helium chain. So that will be required later. Needed for utility science. Ah. See, I haven't gotten, like, this, this is as far as I've gotten ever. Like, I stopped, uh, I stopped knowing what to really expect after here, Cir Circuit 1. So every everything after Circuit 1, even the green science, I've not done that before under any circumstance. So this is all somewhat new to me. Or at the very least, it's the first time doing it after researching what needs to get done. Okay, I now need to run a CO2 pipe. Yes, I need to run a CO2 pipe. Only know what's ahead because you're doing a proper prep for it. Ha, <laughs> so yeah, so that you don't have a really long bus. Um, I mean, I never have minded really long buses. Heck, all you have to do is just watch my Angels playthrough and you'll see the, uh, just how crazy my bus can get to be. I mean, I think this one is pretty close to how big that Angels bus is as well at the moment. And here I'm only getting to Circuit 2s and that one I'm, like, scaling in prep for launching the rocket by now. Only have a few more things that need to be made. But uh, anyway, I play that on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This one I play Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. It's always interesting going back and forth between the two. Now, I need to run this CO2 all the way back, and I also need to run it further up um, 
and I need to make some burners because I do plan on burning excess lime that I'm using for the uh, aluminium processing so that I can get some CO2 out of that as well. Now all the way over here Yeah, I think I, th I think I've got enough logs coming out. Not necessarily enough of the wood coming out, but definitely enough of the logs. Just keeping an eye on my consumption of the wood. Uh, this is. Looking like it's not stopping. So yeah, I've got a seemingly sufficient amount for that. Aw. go. That's carbon dioxide being run. Uh, there is a place that I do have some... Wait, how the heck did I end up in here? I do have some lime right there. For the acetylene? Hmm. Maybe I should go grab my extra gasifiers. Wait, I have... I have enough to add another one of these. But don't each of these feed like four? This needs only one. And then why the heck? Alright. I am going to grab some stupid gasifiers and I'm going to fix this because that bothers me. That is bothering me. My gasifiers are in a thingy somewhere. Where? Here? No. Here? Here. Alright, so this is bothering me. I need to fix this, like, now. Um, I don't I think I have the width without changing things a little bit. Alright, so you both need coke. I do sort of like having that single line there, but... Uh, and this was making... Calcium Carbide. That goes into this. So... I think
that this is simpler. And it lets me do a rotation here. I just need to figure out what I'm doing with this slacked lime. And this... this is... oh, this one. This one is the one that's problematic. Um, Okay, that is better. Should have done this from the beginning, but oh well. Uh, four of these produce like nothing. Okay, so just... That, as they say, is that. Just run this down. Feed the stuff. You need water. And, uh, yeah. Power? Power? That's it? That's all? Yes, no, maybe. You're missing the coke, right. Uh, there. There's your coke. And I actually have enough of the soil extractors to then double this completely so there's my acetylene scaled so I guess I now can go in and start scaling the stupid uh, lead mining that whole lead mining process can start being scaled a bit more now what was I in the middle of working on again before I was so rudely interrupted by that, I was going to be... The whole point was to take the CO2 from here and add it to the bus. That was the whole point. 
point. And I guess somewhere I should, uh, overflow valve. And stick down. Couple gas vents. Just to make sure everything keeps moving, and... Theoretically, I don't need any more input of CO2, so I will probably just put things on hold there and head back. I need to have some evening out of my liquid bus here just to give me better places with which to uh, cross over. Okay, you have tailings, you are fine, you are fine, just needs power. You are fine, just need power, you fine, uh, just need inputs of stuff. So you need 200 per second. Ooh. Okay. Uh, and yes, I'm going to make use of this location of, uh, steam. I need to add... I'm using 66.67, these produce 120, it's 60 apiece, so another one... Uh, two. Two, I think, is the magic number that I need to add here. That, as they say, is that. So, four of these, that's four by sixty. Nope, I need to add at least one more. There we go. That'll give me 300 units of steam per second. 66 and two-thirds from there, and then 200 from there. That uh, comes out to a number that's less than 60 remaining, so that will be fine. Now, blood meal. Where are you again? You are there as only a single lane as well. Maybe this phenol... I'll also leave as only one lane. And I'll do the phenol and blood meal on a mixed belt. We shall see. Then... Chromium. How much per second on the chromium? Oh, that's really low. That's gonna be fine. In fact, all these inputs are gonna be fine.
start powering everything up. And uh, there we go, I guess. Oh. Wait, what? Am I not using that water? Do I literally have to void water? Nope. Okay, I will. I will absolutely start voiding water, of all things, to make it keep moving. Um, oh, yes, right, aromatics. I have to get you hooked up. Uh, which lane is my aromatic lane? This one. Aromatics. Right. Get that going down. Once that's hooked up, that'll provide me... Well, I think I'm normally backed up on aromatics anyway. I don't know if I have it behind a overflow valve or not, but it's easy enough to increase my demand for aromatics. That much is certain. Uh, you are making extra on that rich clay. <laughs> anyway. I just need to make sure the aromatic thing keeps moving, so I might actually have to start burning. Uh, no, you are... You are clearing your aromatics fast enough. And then these... Wait. Oh, right. Duh. Water. Um... Water, water everywhere. I will hook that thingy up. Let's see, you make 50 per second. I'll need more than that for this, so... Ideally, the way that this will work is it will... Because this is closer, it'll pull in the water from this. Preferentially. Let's see, there's my cumin going. There's phenol. Good. Good, good, good. Now, getting the blood meal up here is probably going to run on this... This lane. Uh, this is one of the reasons that I have this sidewalk here, is for these types of setups. It's the chromium in. Uh, now I forget. Chromium is the second in its line. Now, once the blood meal catches up, and once the chromium catches up, that will be uh, the non-zero amounts of nylon. There's chromium, and then did I miss a spot? I probably missed a spot. Yep, missed a spot. So 
now everything should get moving. My butchery is continuing again. This just... This just will feel really good seeing non-zero amounts of nylon. This will this will feel good. This is this is an accomplishment in and of itself. Just hitting this and seeing the first nylon appearing. Oh boy, it's nylon. Ugh. Nylon. So, of the to-do list, that's that, 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 and that all taken care of. All of that stuff on the to-do list is done. However, you can see uh, there is a lot more to go before hitting circuit twos. Um, more phosphoric per second might be required sooner rather than later, but gosh, what is next? Um, probably the optical fiber. No, 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 no. <sighs> so I went through this whole nylon thing so that I could get printed circuit substrate too. This is the one. This is the one. So this is copper plates, nylon parts, the Nolik board, tin plates, and etching solution. So this is one of the most complex parts of the chain, of the entire chain. So I will be doing this part next. Nylon parts is what we've gotten to here. Now I have completely forgotten what I am targeting on the nylon parts. Have I put in anything? I think it's only just, it's one. Yeah, I have forgotten the numbers that I'm targeting here, so... Uh, what is... What are the numbers that I'm targeting here? It's two PCB factories? Two per second on nylon parts? Nylon parts are made in factories. I need two per second. Automated factory of nylon parts uh, that makes three per second in two automated factories so that's that's what I was uh, targeting or was I targeting assembling machine ones I don't know most likely not uh, those and this is just nylon in and parts out Okay, you stop moving because of... Ah. That is a thing. And then you aren't moving because of... Ah! You have water out that's hooked up to nothing. Uh, you should hook up to... there. Alright. Now everything should be running smoothly. Again. Pick that up. You produce... Uh, 
Alright, so there's nylon parts now. The PCB factory. I'm gonna stick this further up. Oh hey, it's the it's the pointless salt. The salt thing that's hooked up to absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing because I'm doing my saline locally out here. Okay, so the next things in the process of getting to printed circuit substrate 2 is etching solution and phenolic boards. That Those are the next things. Um, I have not even looked at phenolic boards yet. That's how much I uh, am expecting them to not be fun. Uh, phenolic boards... Fiberboard! Yet more fiberboard! Oh boy, oh joy, oh bliss. Uh, sodium hydroxide, that's fine. Ammonia is also fine. You can actually make it out of urea. But I also have a little bit coming out of cyanic acid. Uh, but this Bakelite... Or bacalite, whatever it's called. Organic matter, zinc chloride, phenol, and formaldehyde. So, of course, as soon as I get everything at ratio to produce the nylon, I now need more of the phenol and I will I am now forced into starting uh, the zinc chain <sighs> well if I have to do the zinc chain for this um, I may as well also do the other things that require the zinc chloride. AKA this. And this. So if I'm making zinc chloride, I may as well make enough so that I can plan out having coal gas coming from this stuff. Even... Even though I have an absolute ton of tar available to me through local tar pits that I am currently using to make coal gas out of, this I think is the most, or the at least a more efficient process of making coal gas. And it gives you a little bit of tar so that I can transition my current tar usage into tailings and saline water uh, because those look like fantastic recipes for producing uh, tailings and saline and you can end up with whatever either iron ore and copper or or some I think I think it's uh, borax and niobium ores out of that but uh, yeah that seems more useful for the for like the tailings and the saline water than anything else uh, so if I'm doing the zinc chloride for the bacolite for the phenolic because I already have sodium hydroxide I just would have to scale it up from my stuff. Just more scale there. More scale on the fiberboard. I'm using this recipe. It gives me some organic solvent, which uh, will be used for the etching solution. But this is what I want to do for my uh, other for my normal organic solvent. Looks like this is done in an oil refinery. So you may have noticed I'm producing acetone, 
let's go through what I've already planned out here. Um, because there are other things that I can do before having to go into Phenolix. Um, I was going to do... I think it was this Kevlar recipe. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the Kevlar recipe that needs nylon. So that needs PPD. I not haven't even thought about nitrobenzene yet or any of the other stuff to make the PPD or the TPA. Nichrome, that means I'll have to get nickel. Uh, mining done as well, so that's now nickel and lead to add onto the list of uh, things to get sorted. Uh, Liquid nitrogen is it's relatively simple. To, oh, hey, look, gasoline. So that's going to require oil processing. Oil processing. Excellent. As well. Uh, I'm thinking that the tight. Titanium tetrachloride might be something that I want, because it ends up getting used in a bunch of things anyway, so I'd probably go that route for the gasoline. Uh, although, I could do this. Well, I could do that. Um, looks like I have to do oil stuff have to do oil stuff. Anyway, uh, organic solvent. Organic solvent gets used in etching. Wait, is it not used in etching? Well, it's used in the Kevlar, I know that for certain. Etching solution. Oh, right, that's a phosphoric acid and sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide. Oh, hey, look, it's nickel again, so I'm going to need nickel, and then this is, and again, nickel. Uh, aromatics I have, so... Or, like, oil. Oil stuff. Uh, tailings processing for Nexalit. Hmm. Okay, I guess it is... Probably... That time to do... Oil processing. I think I have to do the oil processing. Yep, that's next. That is next. So, as that is the next thing. What am I going to need? I'm going to need oil refineries, clearly. Uh, oh, hey, look, it's neobium and stainless steel for oil refineries. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Oh, bliss. Um, I 
I'm just having a look at various things here. So I'm just going to do a search for, like, heavy oil. Uh, so that I can look at the basic oil processing recipe, yeah, in the oil refinery. One to one. Nowhere near one to one. So if ultimately I need heavy oil as the main thing, And I can get sulfur from my sulfur deposits. It might be a better idea. So instead of going and taking the time and doing all that whole niobium chain and getting what I need of the niobium pipes for the oil refineries, so I can do base game oil processing. Uh, what I could do is this recipe in a multi-purpose cracker, because the multi-purpose cracker I can make right now. Uh, let's see, it is this. I am short on iron. Just having a look at this thing. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and there doesn't happen to be one for light oil, is there? No. Because it seems like heavy oil is like the most uh, useful here. Maybe. So, I have to calculate how much crude oil I have, potentially. It's at least a couple of hundred per second. Fortunately, my oil is, like, right here. Car. I think I added this up at some point, but for have forgotten. So... Let's see, that's 59, 38.9, 52.9, 38.3, 37.7, 53.5, and 34.7. So that's 315 
for a second, which is going to mean a lot, potentially. If it's one to one, that's up to 315 per second of the uh, heavy oil. Provided I don't use the stuff for something else. So maybe I target nine. Make things simple. That's that's ten uh, boilers worth of steam evenly into nine crackers worth of crude oil into heavy oil. So I have two right now. I need the materials for ten for uh for nine. So that'll make three. Okay. The good thing about this is it doesn't necessarily need to be made like on my bus or done on my bus because I'm just able to route the fluids in the end. Or all I need to do is route the fluids in the end. Let's see here. And everything out here is like just free real estate back in this zone. So let me scale uh, this way. This might not be a good idea. I'm just, I just noticed that this exists as a recipe and I'm just going with it. Uh, the only issue with being right here is getting access to uh, water and pulling in my uh, coke for those steam engines for the steam unless I just pipe the steam in from elsewhere uh, and 10 boilers is half the throughput of a uh, of a pump an offshore pump so there's that to consider as well And I'm doing this only because I'm lazy. That's that's like the whole reason why I'm even thinking of doing this this way is just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like setting up Neobium right now. Uh, that's the sort of thing that I want to look at before stream and prep for rather than try to do live in the last 30 minutes of the stream. Same deal with the with the lead and with the uh, zinc and the nickel. So lead, zinc, nickel, niobium, and nexlet. Those are what I at this point and it's looking like I'm going to need all of that.
Okay, that just leaves 10 boilers. Don't know if I want to do that here. Um... I've come down, I can come down over here on the coke and pull it over. I guess I'll do this here. Where are my boilers? Boilers! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. That is not a good idea to do that like that. Okay, I need two things. I need fuel and I need water. I will focus first on the water. I want to give this a fresh input of water. Oh, hello. What are you? You are an aluminium reserve. Ugh, I hate... That, this is the one thing about... What is it really used for? Is that it's really hard to properly close the search box. I always mess that up somehow. Off we go. Right, I think it's time to go onward and upward really hate the rocks added here I will I will complain about that until I finish this playthrough I swear just the rocks in volcanic biomes in alien biomes or and just in general with the Alien Biomes mod. Rocks are just atrocious. It adds way too many. Way too many. Spawn. And what's bad about it is I don't even know if that's just straight up Alien Biomes or if that's just uh, the interaction with the uh, RSO because that could just be a uh, thing with RSO and alien biomes still think it's way too many rocks Get out of this volcanic, thank you. Alright, there we go with water. That is water taken care of. That's a good nickel patch. Oh, 
I'll probably... I'll tap some of this at some point. Let's see, I need to find... I need a nickel to pat to tap. I need a zinc to tap. I need a better lead to tap. Uh, what else? A niobium. Well, I mean, yeah. Niobium. Nickel. Where is a very good lead? Unfortunately, I don't think there's a... Inc oh, there's a good lead. Somewhat. A 6.5 on a lead. Might be the only one actually worth going for. That might be the only zinc worth going for, too. Uh, so, lead. And zinc. Ooh, that's, that's better zinc. Hello. Um, that's less dense, that, but bigger. So I'll probably tap that. Mine that, I should say. Alright, so now that's decided. Uh, I need to fuel these boilers. And of course I have to power everything up, too. So, this long trip back. Keep on going. So that I can head on over, pull down. Some coke. Let's see, what line do I want to pull it down from? I probably want to pull it down here. Looks like I'm pulling it down here. Oh, and I'm out of undergrounds. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, and of course I leave my cars behind. Well, I... Start running towards the uh, start of the bus, pick up some more undergrounds, and doesn't look like I need any regular belts at this point. However, I think I might be ending things off a little bit early today, just because I didn't take a break in the middle of the stream and sort of need one 
right now, and by the time I would come back, it would be the end of the stream anyway. So, I think... Uh, we're just going to be ending things off here about 15 minutes early, so I will just review uh, briefly what got done today. I scaled up the wood a little bit more and scaled up the carbon dioxide production. I scaled up my acetylene production. Looks like I need uh, power there. Uh, started doing more lead. I got nylon primarily speaking that that was the goal today i got uh nylon i got nylon and i've got nylon parts and now i am in the process of getting into uh oil processing into heavy oil so that i can do beautiful wonderful things uh, on the path to circuit twos uh with that uh i would like to thank you all for watching this has been Otaku Showboat. I will be back tomorrow with more of the Angels playthrough, and I will, of course, be back on Sunday with more of the Pi Anodons playthrough. I hope to see you all.